Hey guys, how's it going? Dusty Smith here with the Cult of Dusty. And people ask me all the time, Dusty, why do you still fight religion? You're just beating a dead horse. Religion is not the greatest threat to us. I have to wonder what the fuck planet are you guys living on? The entire government right now has been taken over by crazy Christian tea partiers. And on top of that, it's not just the fucking government. There's so much crazy Christian religious bullshit going on all the time still. So I thought I'd do a video series on this. I will probably eventually start doing it weekly. But for right now, I'm going to just highlight all the crazy Christian bullshit I think it's worth mentioning that happened in March of 2017 alone. I'm calling it the month in Christian bullshit. So let's start out with this motherfucker. This is George Faltz, a state congressman in Oklahoma, and he's trying to get a law passed to make it more difficult for women to get abortions. And someone outright asked him, do you believe rape and incest is God's will? This is his answer. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Representative, is rape the will of God? Well, you know, if you read the Bible, there's actually a couple of circumstances where that happened. And the Lord uses all circumstances. I mean, Grown. You, know, you can go down that, that path, and, but, uh, you know, it's a reality, unfortunately. You can go down that path if you want to, but the fact that God uses rape and incest for his will, that's a reality. No, motherfucker, that is literally a fiction. But then he keeps going. Obviously, if it happens in someone's life, it may not be the best thing that ever happened. <laughs> yeah, if you get raped and pregnant, it may not be the best thing that ever happened. So you're saying that God is not sovereign with every activity that happens in someone's life and can't use anything and everything in someone's life, and I, I disagree with that. What a piece of shit. Something tells me if Mr. George Fault was getting raped himself, he wouldn't be thinking it was part of God's will. If part of your God's master plan is that you get raped, what the fuck are you worshiping him for? Literally, worship anything else. That motherfucker is not cool. And the fact that these are the kind of motherfuckers we have in our state government is really depressing. This is why we fight. And I want to take a moment to thank Hemet Meta for his blog. I know him and I have had some ups and downs in our relationship, shall we say. But we bury the hatchet, and I actually think he does good work keeping track of all this crazy religious bullshit. If you haven't read his blog, just Google The Friendly Atheist. He'll come up first. And this is just one more shiny example of why religion is so fucking immoral. Brazilian soccer star, God forgave him for torturing his girlfriend and feeding her body to dogs. This motherfucker had his girlfriend tortured and then fed to dogs. Somehow only did seven years in jail and he's out. And now some fucking asshole soccer team has given this motherfucker a chance to play professional ball, be rich and famous. And the guy's like, I don't know where everybody's hating on me for. God forgave me. He literally says, I quote, what happened happened. I made a mistake, a serious one, but mistakes happen in life. I'm not a bad guy. Dude, you had your fucking girlfriend tortured, murdered, and fed the goddamn dogs. You're like a goddamn Bond villain. What the fuck do you think a bad guy is? Then he goes on to say, people tried to bury my dream because of one mistake. But I asked God for forgiveness, so I'm carrying on with my career, dude. Oh my fucking God! Suck a dick! Suck all of the dicks! You motherfucker! Fuck the court system that let him out of jail. Fuck the team that hired him. Fuck everything about this. And yet another one of these family values Christian GOP legislators got caught in a hotel room with a young boy, State Senator Ralph Shorty. Shorty? This is the dude who managed Donald Trump's campaign in Oklahoma. This is what the fuck he did. This too was talking to a teen boy on the internet. Got caught fucking red-handed. He was using the alias James Tilly, but it's really sent it to Shorty. And the boy asked him, is there anything I can help you do? Some cash? And Shorty responded, how much you needin'? And the boy was like, I need money for spring break. And Tilly was like, I don't really have any legitimate things I need help right now. Would you be interested in sexual stuff? So after the boy's dad tipped out the fucking cops and shit, they went to the hotel room, found Shoday and the boy in bed together smoking some weed. So anyway, basically it's another one of these self-hating gay dudes. This happens over and over and over again with these family value guys. They turn out to be giant hypocrites. They turn out to be self-hating gays. And they should be exposed for it when it happens because they actually vote against gay rights. They actually do spread harmful legislation and they should be called out for it. And apparently NASA is given $1.1 million to a religious group in order to study how aliens could impact religion. Man, if you really want to study how aliens are going to impact religion, don't give that money to religious people. They are desperately brainwashed. If they weren't unable to get past the Jesus is 100% real and nothing could change my mind, they wouldn't be Christians to begin with. Regardless if aliens landed or not, they would still believe Jesus Christ was their Lord and Savior. 
Then they would immediately try to convince the aliens that they too are sinners and must bow down to their god or else be tortured forever, which will undoubtedly be swiftly followed by a complete annihilation of the entire human species. So if aliens ever do land, I vote we keep the religious nuts as far away from them as we possibly can. Okay, NASA? And Singaporean atheist Amos Yee, who was arrested in Singapore for sharing one of my videos, he actually sent me out a photograph of his indictment. And on the very front page, the first charge, he was charged with sharing, if you are a Muslim, you are retarded. Anyway, they put this kid in jail already, and they were going to put him in jail much, much longer. But he escaped over to America with the help of a friend of mine named Melissa Chen. And he was in a detention center for a while. And now he's finally granted asylum, so I'm happy to hear that. The kid's taking a lot of flack for his really controversial opinions. He has some opinions that even I find controversial. But absolutely no one should be fucking put in jail for sharing my videos. So glad he's over here in America. I'm glad he's free now. Regardless of how controversial somebody is, they should have the freedom of speech to say whatever the fuck they want without getting locked up for it. So welcome to America, Amos Yee. And this kind of shit happens all the time. Every time atheists try to do anything nice, every time we try to put up a monument or do any kind of good shit like that, somebody always has to fucking vandalize it. Happens over and over again. These Christian assholes just can't leave our shit alone. We let you guys have a church every fucking five feet. We don't vandalize your shit. But an atheist dare even try to do something fucking good, like adopt the fucking stretch of highway. Oh, hell no, can't have that. Gotta throw shit at it. Gotta fuck it up. Way to show the love of Christ, dickheads. And this is for everybody out there that continuously fucking tells me that religion is dead, that religion is no longer harmful, that religion is not the public enemy number one that we should still be fighting. 28 states have an entirely Christian congressional delegation. That means they don't have any fucking body in there, period, except for Christians. 28 fucking states. And that's on top of the fact that there's not a single open atheist in the entire federal Congress to begin with. The people who actually have the power, who are making the laws for all of us, are fucking Christians. They have this shit sewn up. The battle is far from fucking over. In my opinion, the fact that these are the motherfuckers who actually have all the power to pass the laws that affect our lives, I would say it's pretty clear these guys are the most dangerous. That's just my opinion. And in March, another atheist blogger was hacked to death, this time in India. 31-year-old H. Farooq was hacked to death on Thursday night by four men who were pissed off that he posted atheistic messages on a WhatsApp group and Facebook page. It's really hard to believe in the current era how dangerous being an atheist still is. Simply not having a belief can get you killed. As someone who's received hundreds of death threats over the years, this really hits home to me. You want to talk about real persecution? This is what real persecution looks like. And in this tweet, Eric Erickson, the former editor-in-chief of conservative blog Red State, was trying to back Donald Trump up for the fact that Trump is trying to cut so many programs for the poor. And he tweeted, In Matthew 25, when Jesus talks about caring for the least of these, he isn't talking about the poor in general, but fellow Christians. Dude! Jesus was a fucking Jew! There weren't any Christians then! Jesus wasn't going around feeding other Christians! Christianity wasn't created until after Jesus died. No, Jesus was out helping poor Jews! And just poor, sick motherfuckers to begin with! Hell, universal healthcare is the most biblical idea you can possibly think of. That's what Jesus did! He went around and helped sick motherfuckers for free! God damn it, the level of mental gymnastics you guys go through to convince yourself that you're still a good person, even when you're total fucking shitheads, it's hilarious to watch, actually. Look, shithead, if you want to be a shithead, then just be a fucking shithead. But don't blame Jesus. This is one time he had nothing to do with it. And this is one of those headlines that it's hard to believe we live in a universe that could possibly be true. New York mayor failed to stop rabbis from sucking baby dicks and giving them herpes. What in the actual fuck? Can you imagine the level of retardedness it would take to believe you're sucking baby penises for God? But they do! These sick motherfuckers suck baby dick for God! And the parents just fucking let them do it! God damn it, religion! Every time I think you can't get any creepier, you one-up me! And here's a story about an engaged couple who may end up in jail in the UAE because they had sex before marriage. She went to see a doctor because she was having stomach cramps. Turns out she's pregnant and they're not married. Oh shit! Look! This is why you don't live in the United Arab Emirates. This is why you don't live with fucking primitives. Get the fuck out of there. I don't care what the fuck job your boyfriend has. It's not worth living there for. It's not worth being around those people. Immediately get away from them. Until these primitives are willing to join the rest of us in the 21st century, don't be anywhere fucking near them. And Megan Phelps, daughter of Fred Phelps, put out a talk this week on TED explaining why she got away from the Westboro Baptist Church. Spoiler alert, it's because it fucking sucks. And also in March, a Christian state representative from Tennessee wanted to ban porn. And I shit you not, her name was Senator Mae Beavers. 
And apparently, Miss Beavers hates porno and wants all of us not to have porn no more. Well, all I gotta say is, Miss Beavers, you can have my porn when you pry it out of my warm, crusty hand. The Royal Commission reveals massive scale of child sexual abuse complaints in the Angelican Church. It's not just the Catholics raping children. Christian denominations of every type are into this awful bullshit. Becoming a leader in a religion is the easiest way to convince idiots to give you access to their children and trust you. The reason so many pedophiles are attracted to religion is the same reason spiders put a spider web in front of your porch light, because that's where the bugs are. These pedophiles go to where the children are. And the sooner we wipe out religion, the sooner we wipe out a lot of this pedophilia too. That's the damn truth. And there's literally just so many Arkansas Baptist Church pass out pamphlets saying there's no such thing as homosexuals. Crazy ass Christians pissed off at Beauty and the Beast because they had a gay character for five fucking seconds on the screen. Can't have that shit. Another crazy televangelist claims in his church that hundreds of people have been resurrected from the dead. Doesn't provide any proof, pictures, video, any of that shit. How could anybody fucking possibly believe this shit? Christian ex-witch offers handy-dandy tips to protect yourself from witchcraft. Like life is really the wizarding fucking world of Harry Potter or some shit. Grow the fuck up, bitch! Representative Louis Gohmert says if Hillary was elected president, Christians like him would be thrown in jail right now. Cause that's fucking real life. Like Hillary was really gonna fucking throw Christians in jail. Just so fucking stupid. Pastor Lance Wallenau says that God caused the Oscar debacle to make Donald Trump's enemies look foolish. That's what happened. You know, God was in heaven, and he was like, I'm really tired of all these motherfuckers talking shit about Donald Trump. Hmm, what could I do to make them look foolish? I know. I'm going to make them read the wrong name during the Oscar telecast. That'll fucking be hilarious. Look, any fucking God that is this petty and also pulls off pranks worse than my grandma could do, it's not worth being worshipped at all. If there really is a God, then I hope to God he has better shit to do than this. And Christian right-wing activist Linda Harvey says that telling gay kids they're normal is like the grooming a pedophile does. No, can't have gay kids feel like they're normal and included. Fuck that shit. Gotta make them feel as miserable as possible for how they were born. Otherwise, you're a pedophile. Just fuck your mama. Fuck all of your mamas. And a woman from Nicaragua died after being thrown into a fire to rid her of demons by her fucking church. This is what happens when you introduce the primitive teachings of Christianity into yet another primitive society like Nicaragua. They said she was acting crazy the week before she tried to attack some of the church members with a machete. Yeah, you motherfuckers are trying to throw her into a goddamn fire. I would attack you with a machete too. Just goddamn it. Tennessee tried to pass a law to put in God we trust on all the license plates. Because even if you don't trust in God, suck it, atheist. But it looks like after the outrage, they've decided to make it optional, so that's good. There's absolutely just so much of this crazy religious bullshit, I can't possibly cover it all. I'm going to find one more and end it with that. And in March, conservative Christian Dennis Prager came out and said, if there's no God, then murder wouldn't be wrong. This guy's actually pretty famous these days. He runs the Prager University. And once again, when dealing with these type of people, I'd be very frightened if I was a member of Dennis Prager's family. Because if this guy wakes up tomorrow and suddenly starts believing there is no God, he gonna murder everybody. As always, if the only thing stopping you from murdering, raping, hurting other people is your belief in a God, you are a fucking piece of shit. I mean, if that's really true, if that's the only thing keeping you from hurting others, you're a fucking piece of shit. No two ways around it. And you know, funny enough, I actually used to say the exact same thing when I was a Christian. I used to say, man, if I wasn't a Christian, I'd be an assassin. I'd just go out and kill everybody. But then I became an atheist and realized how silly that was. I realized that my morals were never based on the Bible. They were never based on my fear of God. They were always based on normal human empathy. My ability to put myself in other people's shoes, understand what they're going through, and to treat them like I would want to be treated. Dennis Prager is just talking bullshit. If he became an atheist tomorrow, he definitely wouldn't go out and fucking kill people. But if it's true, and you really would, Dennis Prager, then I wouldn't be announcing this shit publicly, because all you're doing is telling people what a tremendous fucking piece of shit you are. And this video is getting pretty long, so I'm going to go ahead and end it there. I really could have gone on for another hour. There's so much crazy religious shit that goes on every single month. Like it or not, religion is still a major problem. It's something we still need to fight. And it's still something I intend to do my part and eradicate with logic. Fuck yes. Hey guys, thanks for watching my show. Please rate and comment. Also, if you enjoy my show, please support it on Patreon. My patrons are really the only reason my channel is able to keep going. So if you like what I do, please support it. Thanks guys.